Uh, we're in Kuala Lumpur, we can't wait to try all the food. So exciting. What do you know about KL? So, what do I know about KL? Absolutely nothing. That's why I'm so excited. I love visiting countries where I actually know not much about. And I purposely didn't really look up much on YouTube or read, read articles or anything like that. I want to experience KL for the first time fresh without seeing hardly anything. So finally we are in our first Airbnb house. To be honest, we are very tired but we couldn't wait to share our first impression of KL. So here we go. So the first impressions of Kuala Lumpur, um, as we went from the airport to this Airbnb here, uh, we're quite close to Bukit Bintang, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly and um, it's just everything is so different to any other places that we visited yet yeah so that's our first impression is like whoa the buildings look different um, just everything looks really different let me put it this way it's the most exotic city I've ever stayed seriously it seems so foreign everything it does and even the greenery as like as we were going yes um, through into KL you could just see like the forest yeah, looking trees so, so much green yeah there's a lot of green which we're not used to so that was really exciting and now we're really it's all about exploring our local area first and then we'll just kind of explore as much as we can yeah um, for me at first I thought uh, before coming here I was like oh it might be quite similar to Seoul because that's where I'm from but no, it's not. It's very different. I noticed like there were some apartments that had like roofs on them. I've never seen like usually apartments are just kind of flat. Yeah. But the apartments got little triangle roofs. And the massive Cute. difference um, between Seoul and K KL. Um, I'm not comparing these two cities, but I'm just saying the look of it is very different because KL has so much green. So much green. And another thing we noticed as we're going through one of the more urban areas is that we saw the big massive screens <coughs> up. So it's kind of like a Tokyo vibe in the city center. Like even the screens were bigger than we saw in Shibuya. So that kind of surprised me. I'm really looking forward to going back to that area to really explore that. Mm. And also I expected to see loads of people. Sometimes in a big city like Seoul or Tokyo, you see just tons of people walking down. But it, it isn't like yeah, that. I didn't see that, I yeah. haven't seen mm. that many people. Yeah. Um, maybe it's because morning maybe, maybe it's because the morning maybe it's because of the weather it's quite humid and hot outside muggy um, that was another big impression that we got um, it's kind of reminding me a bit of Brisbane weather but even more muggy than that so um, yeah the weather is another big one and it's hot but um, it hasn't reached the point that you feel so uncomfortable no, I'm sure the mm. there will be a moment yeah during our stay I'm sure there will be a moment. Yeah. But so far, we thought it's so far, humid, yeah. but it's not, not, not so bad. bad. In fact, I would say so far, it's a lot better than I thought because I was looking at the weather and I was just like, 34 degrees, humid, rainy, oh, it could be a bit tricky, but so far, it hasn't been like that at all. So really happy with the weather at the moment in KL and we're hoping it sticks to that. So now that we've had our first impressions of KL, we're about to embark on our actual exploring of KL. So if you've got any place that you think that we should go to while we're here, let us know in the comments down below and we'll check it out, whether it be things to do or even the foods that we should be eating while we're here. We're really excited to try a lot of Malaysian food. Yeah, we're so mm. hungry. Um, yeah. The thing is, we booked this Airbnb. Um, we're staying here like for a few days, but they said there is a kitchen, but there aren't any pots. There's no pots in this kitchen, so we'll just have to be eating out. Hi guys, this is the first time to try the real real Malaysian laksa um, ooh, Malaysia is wild I must say let me taste this God, I'm very excited for this yeah 
yummy. It's so yummy. Let me taste this one. I think this is tofu. Mm. It's so good. I love any tofu dishes. It goes with it so well. And the most important thing, the soup. So yum! Can you see how thick it is? It's thick. It's really good. Oh my god. I thought I thought I'm gonna miss Melbourne Malaysian food to be honest because you know sometimes too local food surprises you. Um this one I think is my first meal in Malaysia. Pretty successful. So I've ordered the national dish of Malaysia, Nazi Lamak, and um, I've heard so much about this dish. I've seen people eat it before. It looks so delicious. I've never seen it in Melbourne, well, like that, with those little nuts, I think, in there. Um, so for this one, you can choose your different vegetables, your vegetable side, what kind of chicken you wanted, and all the rest kind of came with it. So it looks like you can have different versions of Nazi Lamak just by choosing different veggie options, different chicken sauce options, which I didn't know about. And so I've gone for this kind of um, veggie here, which I'll try. Mmm. 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 It's very fresh. It looks like a oh. cucumber. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's got almost a bitterness to it. Like at first it's just like normal veggie, but then it's a bit bitter as well too, which I didn't expect. It's got, almost got a Brussels sprout kind of flavor to it. Mmm, that's good. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to dismantle all this, so let us know in the comments down below if I'm eating this completely and utterly wrong. I'll put some sauce there on the rice. Mm. Wow, that's spicy. I didn't expect it to be so spicy. Oh, that's almost Korean level of spicy. <coughs> I did not expect that. That's really yummy. I love the kick. I love the spice. Maybe the chicken looks just amazing. Okay, I've got to try. I've got to try the chicken. Look. Let's cross that over. Okay, just cut open a bit of that chicken. Hey, trying this chicken. Let me know in the comments down below if you know what kind of chicken this is. Because it was two choices what I could choose for this Nazi Lamat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really, really yummy. Mmm, with the rice. And I'll try to put, put it together with everything. Make bit of veggies. Together. Bit of rice. Bit of that. Bit of spice. Mm. And some egg. And I guess you get some of this nuts and nuts. Mm. Okay. That is one thing I'm always wondering about Malaysian food. Something like nasi lemak. You know, they um, have all different ingredients separately in a plate. Do Malaysians mix all of them or they have it individually? I'm always very curious. Let me know in the comments. So my verdict for my very first um, real Malaysian meal, and it happens to be the national dish, Nazi Lamak, is, drum roll. Two thumbs up, absolutely delicious. So yummy.